yes, finally, finally, finally. So of course we're back with another Pokemon video. Of course we got the next episode review I want to go over. As for Iris, of course we already knew this was gonna happen anyway though. Um, also in the opening, um, I actually really brief history for brief history for this video. I tried to record it so many times. No, I no I recorded it the first time. It went great, but I kept pausing in between. It it was, first time wasn't as bad as like, I was like okay, it isn't bad. Near the end, I was like ah, I just want to kind of scrap the whole video. I, I tried to do this yesterday. It was Friday, today Saturday. Um, of course. Um, May and stuff like that. May 8th. I tried to do um, um, Absol's, you know, I tried to do the same one on the same day. It was a nightmare, so. Um, yeah, though. Um, of course, the opening also I did notice that they put Dragonfish, they put um, Surfetch in there, they got Grookey, and they got um, Drizzle Subbles on the next evolution. I just kind of noticed that as I was um, getting the video prepared yesterday um, for the video, and as to that in my first video as well. So, like, okay, I was like, okay, that's kind of cool. So, yeah, of course, the, um, I'm going to go right into the episode review because the episode was actually really, really good. I read up on it, got all the information I needed, though. I'm going to say some stuff, kind of, you know, twisting it here and there, but, you know, that's how general stuff goes. So, yeah. Um, I don't know what the next episode of review is going to be after this, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, of course, um, I think the next one's gonna be like a go and kind of new thing, I think, for the, um, because the next arc is basically, I think, Project Me or whatever, um, for Go and stuff like that, so, it's, so basically, specifically, the next arc is mainly gonna be Go, though, so, yeah. The last episode was really good, it's, for like, a really redo to a good moment, so, yeah. Of course, starting out with the episode, Ashley gets a message from Iris to battle him, um, in the World Coronation series, and of course, we get a little bit of, a, um, kind of mere flashback with the Universe Days, Universe Squad, I was, I said, like, Kylo Squad, Universe Squad, I would say that, Alola Squad, um, I like this little flashback right here, basically bringing the characters back in the Sun and Moon, um, in the Sword and Shield um, anime or journeys, um, kind of like you know art style, which every series has done this a lot. Even um, Black and White did this a lot too, where they basically brought you know remember Charizard and like you know the um, and kind of like the, um, you know that that art style at the time, which actually was good though. I actually do like this little flashback right here. Like, even though Black and White, a lot of people say oh Black and White sucks. As I go back to it nowadays, it actually isn't that bad though. It actually isn't as bad as it is. So of course Ash, um, Go, and Pikachu, Grookey, everybody goes to the Unifor region, of course. Um, skimming over the next part because it's we don't really use that. It's just Unifor. Of course, um, Go is trying to get all the Pantsir line, get the Pantsir, Pantsage, and Pancor line. Of course, Grookey being the more partner now is, you know, Rip Sobble, Rip, you know. <laughs> um, because you know, I kind of feel like now the way they evolved him to get Grookey on his shoulder, but yeah, and of course, you know, the twisted fate dream that he had before, you know, the dream he had, of course. Uh, and then we get a little bit of flashback, we get a little bit more of a flashback, we get a little bit more of a um, kind of like you know, kind of like you know, how Ash met Iris kind of situation right here, and of course, she runs up to the gym and you know. I was like, what the heck? But yeah, of course, I just make it into the um, gym and, of course, Oak Flu's at City. Um, then, of course, we see Axe. He was like, oh, yeah, it's supposed to be Iris' Axe, but no, actually, no. Um, I guess it's actually um, Iris' training. And we see Drayden right there, of course. Um, I'm always going to be stuff like that, of course. Then we see Go, of course, catch up to Ash. And, of course, we see more of a flashback how, um, you know, Iris battled, um, you know, Drayden before one, or just, you know, in general, battled him. Again, this is mainly the flashback episode. And actually, is really good. Showing up um, Iris and Ash's future. I thought it was Okay, maybe somebody else or something. Um, of course. Um, then of course right here we got, um, of course, Nemo good lighting up the gym, which actually looks pretty nice, though, again, for Iris being a gym leader. And actually, yeah, we got a champion of Unova, um, design here. Which actually is really great, though, of course, for Iris. And the lighting in this episode for Iris is actually really good. I actually do like it myself, though. Of course, Go, um, she's like, hey, I ran, I ran to you, like, earlier, like, a couple seconds ago, like, early. Then, of course, we get, um, you know, more moments between, um, Ash and Nemoga, um, Ash and Iris, um, eh. Iris, Pikachu, um, Iris, Iris, Pikachu, Emoga, and Pikachu, of course. Um, we we'll get more little flashback. And we see how Iris came along, you know, how she about Claire got a Gibbo, and she actually got a Kudra later on. Of course, her being champion in Beautiful, which she is in the series, um, which is cool, though. I'm kind of glad they kept that storyline with her in the black and white on um, two games. The single game to make Iris the champion, which I'm kind of glad they brought it back here. I thought it was just going to be her gym leader design, like her just, you know, her champion Beautiful and gym leader design, but, um, no, she's a champion in Beautiful now. So, yeah, again, she went from. No, almost no dragon experience ish to this, so yeah, um, it, yeah, zero to 100 real quick. Trainer losing me, Zach, you are right if you're out there listening. Um, yeah, a lot of points. Oh, I did watch this review and got a lot of good points from that, so I was like, okay, wow. Then, of course, um, we see um, Ashley bring a head dragon knight. Iris, of course, reacting over it and stuff like that, of course. I'm um, saying, you know, it's different, you know, than other dragon knights. She sent it, you know, tell her like she could feel like, you know, again, she, but she's trained to be like your know, dragon master. I'm actually kind of gotten her already just in this episode, but again, she still has a long way to go. You know, Ash did probably own the computer, probably haven't, like, really. But, yeah. um, but of course, though, um, then we see like the bond between um, her and um, Dra Ash's Dragon Knight, you know, saying how it's different. It's, um, you know, yeah, her being a Dragon Master, stuff like that, hearing the voices of Dragon types is, you know, 
something like that. So yeah, of course we see the battle started. Of course, we already know what to happen. We see Ash bring a hit Dragonite, and of course we see um Iris bring a her Dragonite just to see the difference between them. And we already know Iris Dragonite is just like you know a crazy crack, and while Ash Dragonite is like you know common, you know cool and nice. So of course the battle starts out, and they both just hit our own just super striking, super striking dragon moves. We see um Iris Dragonite hit Dragon Rush, and of course we see um Ash response, um also hitting I think Dragon Rush, but um also just clashes them back and forth. So um yeah. Um, Lily gets knocked down. Of course, Dragonite gets right back up. And of course, Ash and um, Iris's dragon, uh, Iris and Ash's dragon in battle starts now. Um, with uh, with Iris the Dragonite doing Thunder Punch. Um, Ash the Dragonite doing um, Dragon Claw, whipping up with a Twister. Of course, trying to throw it off guard using the Ice Beam. And sort of come um, combination. Um, you know, makes a hole in the like literally makes a skyline hole in the um, um stadium in the um. In the gym and stuff like that, of course, you know, Iris freaking out about it. And of course, Ash, you know, getting back to his ad, um, attitude battling style and stuff like that. With um, Ash and Dragonite, of course, while Ash is Dragonite, Iris is Dragonite just staring him down and stuff like that, of course. Then Ash calls it back, calls it Dragonfish, which I'm kind of glad is getting some love right here. I actually do like um, Dragonfish in the anime. Yeah, Ash's face right there is like, Ash and Dragonite's face, I didn't notice that. It's going like, huh? <laughs> Iris is Dragonite's going like, Huh? It's like he's dying. I hear it dying on the inside. Him and Arc Devote, they're dying on the inside, man. We hear their cries and screams. Please! But yeah, um, of course, Iris, um, you know, gushing and drum, gushing over it and stuff like that, of course. Then literally, Dragonfish gets his first ever win because it literally just dominates Ice Beams, chomps it up, gets pissed off face, and slams it down. Like, literally. Iris' OP Dragonite from Unova got, like, literally two shot it. So, yeah, and of course, we see Iris with the newly evolved um, Axe. Uh, which is actually from Axew, so yeah, it's newly evolved, it is um, Axew and stuff like that, of course, fully evolved, which is insane though, and I actually do love this kind of like little moment though, of course. Um, then of course, you know, um, Iris, plays the Iris plays the long range game, uses Dragon Pulse from far away, from far away, so, um, you know, Dragonfish, so it won't, so, so it can avoid Dragonfish's claws, getting in close and avoiding Dragonfish's claws, and Dragonfish literally gets just one shot down there as well. Um, Again, playing the Dragon Balls game, you know, doing a far away attack step up close one. But Iris is dangerous, so she has actually learned from Ash doing his kind of, you know, out of the box. Not out of the box, but kind of like, you know, battling style, you know, not a battling style, kind of like a, you know, going back and forth thing kind of thing, though, of course. And of course, we get some colors love right there with that screenshot. And of course, we see, um, of course, we see, um, you know, Ash and Iris admiring each other more. And of course, we see Ash playing out, um, get out, um, Dragonite. Of course, we see a power up with the Dragon Zance going into Dragon Claw while um Dragon Pulse or you know I think it's or just straight I think it just straight up I think uses Dragon Rage or Outrage just I think uses Outrage yeah you can tell and just counters um, Dragonite you know Dragon Dance Dragon Claw um, attack coming in so of course Ash is still worried about it seeing how Ash has gotten stronger and Fracture just uh, Fracture um Haxor is right but I actually still really like Haxor Haxor is actually a really good Dragon type um of course you know we see um you know Ash and, uh, Ash and um. Um, I'm still admiring each other back and forth, of course, to see the dragon types um, but I, um, interacting go full strong. Of course, Dragonite is still, you know, super nervous trying to get out of battle cry, while Iris is still connected with Ash Dragonite. But again, she gets a whole kid, like, good bond from this episode. I don't know what screenshots I want to use. I pretty much had ideas in my head, because I was, like, using screenshots from the anime, um, and, like, you know, putting it in the thumbnails. Um, I've been doing that recently, like my Dragon Ball, like my Dragon Ball videos, where I put, like, the, um, you know, character, I screen, oh, screenshot from my computer, put, like, the characters on, um, you know, animation, like, in each, like, you know, block list of the row. Um, I don't know which one I want to do for this one, though, because all these episodes, all these scenes in these episodes are actually really good. Of course, we see all the, um, we see the actual line, of course, in the back of Iris, which is really cool. Of course, we see, um, her talking to Azure Dragon, of course, being fired up, ready to go, just like Adol Ash is and stuff like that, of course. They start to battle up, of course, um, Iris plus the only red game again, use Dragon Pulse. Well, Ash has like, an idea, he uses Counter Shield, which he used against Karina. Um, basically using, um, even go, like, remember, remembering it, and Drayden being completely shocked off guard. So, of course, we see, um, you know, Dragonite gearing up using his, um, Dragon Dance, of course. Twister combination, which we've seen before. I think it used Dragon Dance, then as a, it used Dragon Dance, but then, um, me and, um, me and Xiao hit it. Um, then, like, just kept getting twirling up, getting air, getting more distance, getting more attack off. I'm um, getting stronger as, you know, it was getting hit and stuff like that. Kind of like a Kyle Ken effect in Dragon Ball. Of course, we see the power raging on, going up to new heights. Of course, I always play the long range game again. Use the Dragon Pulse. Ash is like, ha, I learned from that. Um, it literally uses, like, the Dragon Pulse from. Um, it uses its, um, of course, Dragon Dance, Twister, um, you know, Dragon Dance slash Twister combination, um, uses its Dragon Pulse, swings it right back at it in a big old Twister, and turns it into, um, a Drago, um, Dragon Meteor, which is insane this episode. I was like, oh my gosh, it's actually really good. And of course, um, Iris, um, Iris of course, loses Ash, while at the victory, he beat the champion of Universe, boys. 
There you go. He beat the champion new Gita boss. So of course, um, Ash actually gets. Of course, when you see Iris on the um, you know, I'm congratulating Fracture. Drain saying she did a good job. Of course, we got Mocha right there as well. But third, of course, Ash gets up his rank up, and now he's in the hyper class, which you know, which is great though. So more closer to Leon or Leo, which I always called Leo. That's what I heard before. And of course, we see um. I was congratulating Ash, you know, um, we always, you know, we, we always gotta get the little kid joke, but she actually like, legitimately congratulates Ash on his win and stuff like that, of course, wishing him luck in the class or in the World Coronation Series or World Tournament, however you want to pronounce it. And of course, we get a little bit more of a teaser for the next kind of, like, next type of um, people coming up. We see B right there, of course. I can see Sabrina back there, and I see also Volkner with his looks right. I was like, no, no way. And I thought I saw, um, Flint right here, but no, it is. He's like a younger Volpner right there. So we're probably going to see Volpner in the series, and I can't wait for that battle. Him and Ash, again, Journey's is just really good. It's calling back to all these, like, references and stuff like that. But yeah, overall, the episode, not that bad, though. As I read up it on more and more and more from my first review that I did, like, that I got scrapped, I like this episode. I liked how I reviewed it better. It was great. It was awesome. I loved it. I don't know. Try to read more into the episodes, figuring out what's going on. You know, saying it in the video as I'm going to scrolling down. So that's what I like doing. I don't like use the footage because I feel like I feel like that might hurt my channel a little bit more because a lot of people have gotten like, you know copyright strike or copyright claimed just from um, you know showing the images and stuff and showing like the you know anime like you know. Um, Kind of like battling and stuff like that, you know. Some people have gotten hit like recently. So, I mean, doing this for me though, I don't mind because all my stuff is safe. My music is safe for YouTube. All this stuff is safe. So, yeah. Um, except for the episode, it was great. It was awesome. I loved it. The battles from the Dragonites. How I actually like, you literally used Iris' Dragon Pulse as a weapon against herself and you turn into a Dragon Meteor, which is amazing. Classic Ash right there. And of course, Iris Oring from Ash playing the long range game, you know, being more, doing more of a strategy kind of thing. But, but yeah. Overall, episode was really great. We got to see Drayden again. We got to see a you know a little X2 running on around the board. We thought it was Iris's, but no, it evolved into Haxorus, which you really wanted though. Even though she's saying it's a long road to um Haxorus. Here we go. So yeah, again, it's been like 10,000 years since we got Iris though, but I'm glad she's back. Awesome. We could probably see her in a future episode, even probably Karina. But yeah. Episode was great. I reviewed it pretty fast, honestly. I didn't realize I would get done this fast. Um, episode was great. I loved it. It was awesome. Great energy. I loved it all. It was great. I loved it. I loved it. this one, the Gallery of Farfetch. Might be on that same episode. Um, kind of link right there. And the Chloe episode where she first got her EV. I think those are the top three I like um, for reviews and just, you know, just episodes overall. But yeah, I can't wait for this to come out for Journeys. And actually now for the dub, it's called Master's Journey now. So I gotta hang over to like a second kind of season thing right there. So it's for Pokemon's the 24th season, but for this one, again, we had to wait like three months for journeys for um, us in the US for Netflix but who cares though I mean I mean they're on the same series but you know no one's gonna really care um I don't care about that like, you know them being on the same series I just you know I'm just kind of glad they're on doing kind of their, like own little thing over you know, like the dub and stuff like that we're gonna eventually get all the stuff for the dub like maybe like a month or two later or three months but who gives a crap I don't give a crap waiting it, long we wait the more episodes we get so who gets who really gives a crap so yeah see you guys later though thank you so much for watching have a great day great life oh good joke again though make sure you stay safe wash your hands god bless all of you that's going out oh, I'm wearing masks steal some toilet paper if you need to I'm just kidding though of course but oh yeah in the um, Gengar episode in the Riola episode which I reviewed almost a year ago now and that's how it's almost had like a hundred views and you guys love that video I reviewed and went over that my full thoughts you guys love that video so yeah um, so what do you guys think about the episode though did you like it did you hate it I loved it. I think it was good. Um, my position is a little bit different because I didn't move my um, computer up. As always, have my computer way backed up when I'm doing these reviews, you know, for face cam and stuff like that. I tried for Legends. It just, it, I hate it. it didn't work. But overall, though, episode was great. I loved it. I'll try to get out as soon as I can. I will. I know I am, but it's just that um, I got the stuff recorded. It's gonna be kind of in the way. This episode's reviews are gonna be kind of in the way of that a little bit, though. But overall, though, I liked it. It was great. Awesome. Wow. See ya. See you guys later, though. Again, though. Peace out.